it's Mike with Utastic. I'm here at GoToConf 2014, I'm sitting here with Emily, who's with ThoughtWorks, and she helps with some of their interactions with local technical community here in Chicago. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me. Uh, so, Emily, what is, what is it? How do you work with the, the user groups, and what are some of the, the technical communities that you work with here in Chicago? So uh, I help to organize the Chicago Ruby meetup. Um, okay. That's with hosted, Ray Hightower. Yeah, with Ray Hightower. That's hosted in the Chicago office. Mm -hmm. It's not the Chicago ThoughtWorks office. Um, Ray does most of the work, but <laughs> <laughs> um, I think uh, it's great to host it at ThoughtWorks every every month. Mm -hmm. um, and I help encourage ThoughtWorks to attend and present. Um, okay. And so yeah, it's like a, a proxy and work th through into ThoughtWorks so that way it helps promote the community in ThoughtWorks as well as giving place for, for thought I mean for the meetings to happen, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Thoughtworks is lucky to have a, a large space in the AM Center. Um, and it's a great way to give back to the tech community to be able to host mm -hmm. events like that um, and give people a, a platform to talk about what they're doing. There's a lot of cool stuff going on in the Chicago yeah. tech community. Yeah, Chicago is pretty active and it's it's growing. Yeah. Um, and what are some of the other groups that you work with? Uh, so I've been pretty actively involved with Open Gun Hack Night, hosted in 1871 for the last year. Um, ThoughtWorks occasionally sponsors that as well. Right. Um, so I've, I've been helping uh, evangelize the group inside ThoughtWorks uh, and get people to, more, to attend and um, get involved in different projects. Right, and that's the, the Open Government with Paul Baker and... Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, exactly. all, all, all the uh, movers and shakers here in Chicago's yeah. uh, tech, uh, tech community. Uh, so when you're working with these people, you know, how does how does that work? Do you, does ThoughtWorks approach user groups that it sees as being uh, really active and, and special in the community, or do you is there a way to like apply? Like, hey, I have a user group. How can I work with ThoughtWorks? It's I think it depends on the user group right. how, how we got into the, the arrangement we're in. Um, I think in most cases, uh, ThoughtWorks has been approached. I think right. we've been hosting Chicago Ruby for for years. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think originally maybe. I don't even know the full story. I'll have to ask Ray next time I talk to him. <laughs> it's been so long that it's, so it's long. lost the, the, the history. <laughs> um, but I, I think it's nice to have that consistency of having it be in, in one location. Um, and then uh, for Open Go Hack Night, um, some of us had gotten involved pretty early on and they were looking for some sponsors uh, so that people didn't have to pay for their own pizza right. <laughs> every week. Um, so that just happened to work out for us that time. And you know, there those are two very different styles of groups. Is there and, and obviously, one is on site, one is off site. Is does there is that change how you you interact with those communities or? or? I do think um, we we sponsor. It's easier to sponsor things inside the office, um, and it's uh, we have this great space in the AM Center. That's something that we can contribute if people want to host events. Uh, we were able to host a really cool uh, event leading up to PyCon this year, uh, where people gave practice talks. Um, and it was just, it, it's not a, at least not yet, it's not a reoccurring event, um, but um, it, it was really cool. And it was, they needed a space and they wanted to invite a lot of people and we were able to provide that and help with the organizational details. Um, so I think that's a way we can help out with people that want to get people together in the tech industry to talk about something right. or share what they're doing. Um, I, so yeah, I think that's easier in some ways. Right, right. So when you're, like a, if I'm a user group and I'm, well, I would love to be able to be associated with, with ThoughtWorks. Do they, is there a specific place they should go to maybe try to reach? <laughs> or do, should I give them your email That's a good address? Question. <laughs> um, it's usually just approach someone from ThoughtWorks. Yeah. Um, doesn't really matter who. There's not a designated person. So if you get an insider, then it's usually uh, talk to someone, see if see if the date that you're looking at is available, and see if it's something that thought is aligned with what ThoughtWorks is trying to do. Um, I think definitely we, we want to be actively engaged with the Chicago tech community. There's a lot of cool stuff going on, and ours is doing a lot of cool stuff internally, and we want to make sure we share as much as we can between those two. Um, and, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, no. Uh, the, uh, if I'm a user group organizer, so you've been you've been working with these communities for a while, and I, you know, I'm, or maybe I'm somebody who's looking to get started using group. What are some of the activities that you do that that are Maybe somebody might not realize that they're going to have to do when they're when they're trying to use a group. Like when you talk about the logistics of the food and things like that, what are some tricks that you maybe have learned about how to, to manage those kinds of uh, little details? I think just looking at how each event goes and yeah. make sure you use the 
use what went well and what didn't go well to feed into the next one. Okay. That's really the best uh, advice I can give. I think we noticed at Chicago Ruby pretty recently that um, there was some time before the talks would start where people weren't really interacting and all, we were getting a lot of cool people together, um, right. but then they didn't know each other and they didn't know what to do. Uh, so I talked to some of the organizers and we actually decided to, hey, what if we like rearrange the chairs and right. put them all in like different clumps so that when people are sitting there, uh, when they arrive, they sit with a group of people and they're not just like sitting auditorium style waiting for the presentation. Right. Um, let's see how it goes. So we tried it so the next fair. time. And it actually worked pretty well. We asked people what they thought, and we, we did find that people were interacting more. Um, so I think looking at each group is different, so they're not like <laughs> set rules that are going right. to work for everyone. It's going to really depend on your, your group size um, and what type of community you're attracting. Um, but I think just looking at what's working for you. Yeah, so just pay attention to what is, and don't be afraid to experiment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to me. I appreciate it. No problem. User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way! Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at ugtastic.com.